Hey there, Angie Wagler for Arise Now in the Two Minute Wake Up Call. Well, you know, there's a few things that have happened here in the last few days. Um, yesterday, the um, government in Ontario met again and to extend the state of emergency. It was going to end next Tuesday, May 19th, and now it's extended till June 2nd. And when I heard this was gonna happen, my response, what came out of my heart was, no! I think we all kind of want things to return to normal. We all want to kind of get back into routine. We want things to keep moving forward, and they are, but but um, doesn't feel sometimes quick enough. You know, that to me was a little bit of a wake up call to my heart. You know, the 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 thoughts and the attitudes of my heart were being revealed. I'm like, no, you know, there's some impatience. You know, maybe you're feeling that way too right now. There's some impatience with this whole process. Well got me thinking, got me thinking about the children of Israel. You know, we've come through uh, Passover, we've come through Jesus, celebrating Jesus' death and resurrection, and I had been reading through Exodus, and actually I'm still in Exodus. I was reading through the Passover account and and how the um, Israelites um, left Egypt. You know, it was a, a, a unusual, greatly unusual time of, of God doing some miraculous things that, that sent them on their way and they crossed the Red Sea and their enemy, the Egyptian army, was decimated behind them. Well, you know, it didn't take too long for them to get into the wilderness and that there's a process that was happening and that process um, involved some circumstances that revealed the heart of the people. You know, they came to a place where they didn't have water. They were roaming around without water for three days until God provided. They, they didn't have bread to eat. They didn't have water again, you know, and, and, and what came out of their heart in those times revealed really what what the attitudes of the heart were and they weren't actually very good <laughs> you know they weren't very good they were grumbling and complaining and that seemed to be a thread all through the wilderness journey you know they couldn't actually they had to deal with the things of their heart before they could actually enter into the promised land so i just want to encourage you today you know in these times in these circumstances when we're faced with challenges um how are we going to deal with them well we can either grumble and complain or we can turn and say, God, would you give me eyes to see from a different perspective? What do you want to do? What do you want to do and how can I agree with you? So something for you to think on. And until we meet again, stay awake, stay alert.